Welcome back viewers to East Manchester Experiment. Here we are in the North West Counties League Cup. We're playing Oswestry Town away. It's our first test against a team from the North West Counties Premier League. Uh, and as we can see, Oswestry Town are lower mid-table, but if you see, they're very, very, very close in this area. So they're not at all, for, you know, five points away from third. Um, therefore, we can. I think this is probably the, the, one of the best tests we could imagine, because whilst I'd like to get promoted again next season, um, assuming we do this season, which is by no means a given. It's like I think it's more likely we will be in this kind of pack if 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 we assume that the the, the league is going to be quite congested again. This could well be us next season. So playing a team like this is exactly the kind of test we need to see just how much work I'm going to need to do over the summer if indeed I do get promoted. That's not a given. Um, this season is turning out to be harder than I was perhaps expecting at one point. It's by, by no means a problem in terms of we, we don't look terrible, we're not going to get relegated for sure, um, and we may well get promoted, but it's certainly not going to be easy. Since you were last here, which I believe was the game against atherton Burnham, so it was actually, you've actually only missed one game. We had that good win against atherton Burnham, um, which where, where Sam Joy scored two goals in his second game, since then, though, we have lost a game to Carlisle City. And as you can see, this was a slightly bizarre end to the game because there were three goals in injury time, which even in FM is very, very unusual. Okay. The reason I've chosen that game is simply because the money. Uh, that's not the right screen. He doesn't look great. <coughs> he uh, agree but they don't think it's ridiculous. And that, to me, suggests something very positive, not about this season particularly, but about next season. Okay, I'm getting the players to react generally fairly well here, which is good to see. Uh, hopefully, we can start replaying some of the faith I am showing in them. And we're off. Humphrey has the ball on the edge of the box. We're not closing down. And McFarlane makes another save. He's been the hero so far, without doubt. Here, Gardner is nothing Gardner. There's nothing I could do about that one. It's just one of those things. So far, I have to say, we are not in this, really. We're not making enough chances. As I speak, though, it looks like we might finally do so. Gurney strikes one. That's the thing. I don't really want them shooting from there at this level. It's just not going to go in very often. And the corner comes in again. Gamble puts another ball in. And Taylor, Connor Taylor, gets his goal on his debut. Connor Taylor, the brand new signing in from Leamington, or not quite from Leamington, he was a free, was a free agent, but in from Leamington, the former Aston Villa player, and Connor Taylor, my new right winger, has struck. Right winger's been a real problem for me. This could be the solution. This guy, Connor Taylor. And it looks like, yes, we have scored us for a moment there. I thought it might have been offside, but we have equalised. I'm not sure it's particularly deserved. We have been under the cosh a bit, uh, but it is the first clear chance of the game. And we've managed to push it away. Half time now and we're holding our own. I, do, I don't think we've been really deserved the draw, but we certainly not looked massively outplayed, even though we've been... I would say the second best team in this game. It's time for everyone to dig in because we are certainly under the cosh a bit. But you never know if we can dig in properly and do well here, we could nick this and have a f our first ever giant killing. It's the first time we've played anyone in a higher league uh, in the cup. I think I may be wrong about that. Um, sorry, we said say the first time it would be the first time we'd beaten anyone. I think uh, I'd say I could be wrong, um, but we will see about that because certainly last year the league cup that I was playing in. It was for the league, uh, for, for my league only, uh, possibly including the, the leagues below this that aren't playable, I'm not sure. But there was certainly no one in a higher league than us last year, whereas this game, this this league, the League Cup, involves our league and the league above. Um, so this probably will be my first ever Giant King, if I can pull it off. So here we are. Sam Joyce has played so well, and now he's anxious for some reason. He had such a good start to his career. I'm not. I'm surprised about that. I'm going to keep him on because I don't want to take him off when he's anxious. That'll probably make him even more so. But Jack Gurney's going to come off for Jack Leach, because Leach, sorry, sorry, uh, because uh, his, his fitness is a little lower than others. Um, I'd like to take Gamble off as well. If I'm going to, I'm going to put Nugent. Going to give him a go on the right. See if that helps him a little bit because he's clearly struggling on the left. And put Fundarville on the left. Now, obviously, they're not great. They're not a great partnership. And uh, Owen Gamble is a much, much better player. But his fitness is obviously struggling a little bit as well. And though with 20 minutes to go, I think it's a risk worth taking for all sorts of reasons. 
Right, another substitution here. I should say, the second half we've been a lot better. As you can see, the stats are now pretty much identical. Uh, and actually, we've had slightly more possession. So this is really good. Uh, this is a really good... Um, and we're heading to the end of the game here. Looks like we may be going to extra time. I don't think they have replays, so it looks like it will be extra time here. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anything I can do to push and try and get the winner. No, I don't think so. I'm just slightly worried about so are my players tiring more than the, t the tier above in extra time? That's the only thing I'm assuming there will be extra time. We could, of course, just go straight to penalties, in which case it is just going to be a lottery. And, oh, and Dominic Reed is through. It's not going to matter. We've got the winner. It's going to be a giant killing. East Manchester knocking out Oswestry Town as it stands at Oswestry Town. This would be a big scalp in the league above. It's not massive. It's not the kind of FA Cup giant killing that hopefully later in the series we might see. But it's a really fantastic result if we can hold on for this last few seconds. And we can. East Manchester have done the business. Not only have they won, they've won fairly, I would say. It was a very even game, but it's the kind of game where one goal could go either way and swing it. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, We had the one clear chance. They didn't have any. I think we have just about deserved this. We didn't in the first half, but that second half performance was so much improved. And fantastic goals from Colin Taylor in the first half on his debut. And Dominic Reed in the second minute injury time at the end of the game gives us our first big giant killing. And I am thrilled. Fantastic. A very nice victory. Well done. They're all really pleased. It wasn't easy. It wasn't pretty. But we've got it. A first cup giant killing. That is brilliant for us. I will be back after... Uh, the next few games when we're playing back up in the league um, and I will show you what has started to become a slightly more problematic league season than I was expecting. So stay tuned and we will be back in 10 days for the game against back up away. Three away games in a row here. I will of course update you on the game against Waterloo Grammar School old boys um, but for now I will see you in a while. So here we are on the day of the game against back up. Uh, which I quite like as a name, that's really quite cool. They are the backup team. We have actually signed, and something I really needed for a while, a left back. He looks to me like a huge upgrade. You've got to be a little bit careful at this level about things that you think about. So for example, his crossing, I don't particularly care about his crossing because he's not intended to go further far forward and end up putting crosses in. His stamina, I don't really care because I don't want him bombing up and down the wing. I want him to be able to recover quickly if he's slightly out of position. And that's why the pace is really good. But I don't care about his stamina particularly. His positioning, more of a problem. His passing, a bit of a problem. But I like his 10 tackling, his 10 marking, good concentration, good decisions. That's the kind of thing, I think, in a fullback at this level, along with pace, that is really important. So I've got really high hopes for George Grayson. I think it's, been a, it's a really good sign. It's one that I've been looking for for quite some time. And he's going to make his debut today against backup. Other than that, it's pretty similar side to the one that I've been playing recently. Connor Taylor continues at on the right wing. As you can see, all of our attacking players at the moment are looking very good on 7.2 or better, which is brilliant. Um, hopefully that can continue. And hopefully now that I've got a decent player, at least in every position at uh, the back, things might improve defensively too. Obviously, now that I've got my left back, which is was the priority for a long time my new priority now is looking at my center backs because clearly there is work to be done there i have got jamie hadfield who coaches actually do think is better and they may well be right but he did have a horror run of form for a little while which is why he's not in the team at the moment in favor of gregory and watkins i would like to see it's, it's actually watkins i'm more in interested in comparing him to well maybe both uh compared to watkins you can see Watkins does look better in everything other than his physicals. Now that might be a reason to keep him on the side, at least for the moment, because at this, this level, obviously, technicals perhaps not so important. Um, and in terms of Gregory, who's the other person I would like to compare him to. Uh, it's not there. There. Um, with Gregory, it's perhaps a little bit closer. His te he is um, technically better. But in a lot of these places, they're quite low anyway, so it's not going to make a huge amount of difference. Uh, better in the air is perhaps a big thing. He is significantly better. Ta you see, actually, you know what? I think I'm I'm leaning towards starting him over Gregory. Physicals are significantly better too. I think he's probably going to be better. So I'm going to 
have a go at this name yeah i will probably rotate them a fair bit but i have a feeling the watkins hadfield combo may end up being a little bit better we will continue to experiment of course as this season goes on and obviously with the whole of the defense none of them really possibly with the exception of gamble should be first choice next season so here we go we've got a uh, game against back up. i'll just quickly show you the table um back up as i say are up there in the chasing pack we have pulled away a little bit uh, with six points clear of Atherton and Burnham, the team we beat in a previous episode. And it's Ashton Town and us who, at the moment, seem set to fight out the title. In the last couple of games, we beat Oswestry Town earlier in the episode. We have now beaten Waterloo Grammar School Old Boys 4-2. Really, really good performance, actually, this. Um, we look pretty convincing, really. It's probably one of the best performances we've had this season. Interestingly, the fact that we have only 44% of possession, we have 27 shots to their 7. I was pretty impressed with that. And to conf convert four of them is obviously pleasing. Ben Mills with, I think, probably his first hat-trick. Um, indeed, it was his first. He's got a couple, a few couple of times, but I think it is his first hat-trick. So that's fantastic news for him. So hopefully that can, that form can continue into this game against backup, um, and we will be able to finish the episode on a high, possibly looking towards the top of the table. We could even be top, indeed, if Ashton Town can't get a result against Presswich Hayes. Um, so they're obviously, of course, I can't watch it. Uh, they're playing Presswich Hayes. Should get an easy win there, but if Presswich Hayes could pick up, pick up a surprise result, then we could end up top of the league at the end of this episode, which would be fantastic in our first year in this division so i'm going to go into the dressing room i'm going to tell them that we're playing well at the moment i'm going to be assertive about that because they should continue playing well and just carry straight on gamble looking good just want to show some belief in them as well i'm going to be really assertive and tell them i've got i really believe it's you've got what it takes guys you are definitely there and with my strikers i want to get them fired up i want to be aggressive with them i want you to go out there and grab me some goals and there we go, we have a goal from back up. I'm sorry, that came out of nowhere. I wasn't really expecting that. Uh, back up, we'll take the lead. Really disappointing. It's been an interesting half. We've had a lot of the, of the ball uh, and we've had a fair few shots, but they've not been good because really we haven't played all that well. I think we're the better team. We're just not playing well. So I'm really disappointed. Where's your passion, boys? Need more than that. Hopefully the second half might be an improvement. Certainly should be. Presswich Hayes have now gone ahead against Ashton Town. So this, as it stands, if we can turn this round, it could look very good for us at the end of the day. Also means, of course, that a defeat wouldn't be as damaging as it might be, but still something I want to try and avoid, particularly as backup would then only be three points behind us. This could be a really big game just to cement our position in that top two. So I'm going to go a bit more attacking, try and get another goal here. They've got the ball in the middle of the park again here, back up. We are not looking good, and but James Bennett Tindall with an absolute scorcher, which seems a bit unusual at this level, I have to say. There seems to be far too many long shots going in at this level I'm not particularly happy about. But it doesn't look like we're going to get anything out of this game against backup. It's a real shame, because it's the game that we really could have been taking by the scruff of the deck, and now Ashton Town have got one back. They are level. We are now only, We're now three points behind them. This is not looking good, and we are not going to get anything out of this, I don't think. Not a lot more I can do with this team at the moment. I'm going to take Sam Joyce off because he's not looking particularly fit. Get, get Jack Gurney onto the pitch. And we have got a chance here. Leesk with the shot, and nothing happens. For, but we'll read back in, and the ball is cleared. So it looks like nothing there, and this game is rapidly fading from us. Barry has the ball back to Bennett Tindall, and it could be 3-0 down. This is really not very impressive from the team. We've had very, very few chances in this game. We have been, I think, fairly soundly beaten. The stats do slightly tell a lie here in this game because I think we've been by far the worst team in this game. Um, and that is that. A really disappointing performance. Um, I did say that this, this title wouldn't be as easy as I thought in, in the last episode and earlier in this one, I think. But really, we should be better than that. That was not a good performance from our team. Uh, and I'm going to give them a dressing down because I'm not pleased. I'm going to be quite aggressive this time. It wasn't good enough. And frankly, it needs to improve for the next game. That's really kind of taken the, the, the wind out of my sails a bit, I have to say. Um, I don't really know what to do. Because nothing, there was nothing massively different about that game. 
back up when no, uh, no uh, not a better team than us it was just a poor performance and it could just be a one-off in which case I'm worrying about nothing uh, but the fact that I'm struggling that much against the team fourth in my league when it, I'm hoping to be in the, the league above next year is a bit of a concern if you saw anything in that game that you thought mm, yes great out man you're not doing so good there then let me know please because as I've said before I, a lot often with particularly with a game like that I don't really know what to see in that that I that I've done wrong. I can't see how I've changed that and made it as bad as that. It can't be the improvements we've made at, at that left back position because it is very clear that that, that our left back is better now than he was in the previous game when we had uh, our youngster there who is not at least not yet up to it. Um, I'm that's it. Well, Grace, I was trying to remember his name, Grayson. He is clearly a better player for this level than we had before, and that was his debut at least in the league. Uh, I think it might be his debut at all actually it says FA Vars but I don't think he's, played, he's not played for us before so yeah that was his debut please do let me know in the comments what you think of that um, obviously the defence is the issue here but certainly at fullback I think that's an improvement and the centre backs have been there all season it's not like I've changed them hugely but um, clearly something is going wrong with this team at the moment not because we are struggling in the league we're not as I've said before, that's not really my aim now. My aim is to prepare for next season and beyond uh, because we really should be going up this season. If we don't, something has gone wrong. So as I've said, please leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, we will be back. It's probably going to be the Ashton Town game because they are hopefully still going to be our rivals by then. My guess is if we do that, we will also do the uh, Northwest Counties League Cup quarter quarterfinal as well. So we'll have Ashton Town and AFC Blackpool in the next episode. All being well, assuming that our um, fight this season seems to be with Ashton Town for that title. I am, of course, assuming this all this time that we can pick up some form, get some nice good wins in through to the end of January, and then hopefully come back with that game in mind. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. As I, as I said, our attacking team is looking pretty good at the moment from the midfield forwards. Um, that is all looking good. The defence is clearly the concern. And I will be making defensive reinforcements in the centre now as soon as I can find the people who are going to do that for me. Uh, but clearly there is work to be done in this team. What that is, I'm hoping you'll be able to tell me. I'll see you next time. I will be back tomorrow with another one. Thank you and good night.